What's going on guys? Gomer's here and he's back on a pretty big day in MLB The Show 21 and just in general. Uh, started it off with a brand new legend reveal which, you know, was met with somewhat mixed opinions. Some people unhappy with Vinny Castilla. Some people optimistic like myself. Well, wants to see what the card could look like. I think it could play good at the game, just not a cool name. Gomer Seuss, good rhyme. Uh, then, uh, we saw some more TA4 reveals, Honus Wagner, Frank Thomas with like 125 everything, except for speed and fielding, of course. Uh, then I vacuumed, uh, my dog May's hair. Good Christ, you would think I was, you know, shedding myself from playing this game too much, just falling out of my head. Uh, stress-induced, not quite, um, but it's shedding season for her, so, uh, you know, about time. I was getting tired of dog hair on my black t-shirts. Um, and then football tonight. Cowboys about to get their first Elski, huh? Let me know your team. Uh, who are you repping for this 2021 NFL season? I'm excited. Almost as excited for this big collection dropping on Friday that we know some stuff about, which we're going to talk about. Also, how to prepare, how to get ready, and who it's going to be. Talk about all that and more. But first, to find these secrets, leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And, uh, I don't know, go look at my TikTok I posted one day. It's pretty cool. Uh, go ahead and give it a gander. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into this one. So, uh, see the reveal during our push the button developer live live cast pre-recorded SDS. Don't fool us. Drops when, by the way? Can we get drops at some point this year? That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, we have uh, part three to this collection that has seen um, kind of, in a lot of people's eyes, a miss and a hit. A lot of people weren't too hot, not too keen on this Mo, because, uh, you know, a lot of cards to get a reliever, but in my opinion, you know, with these how these collections work, you get these cards for free by, you know, grinding the game, doing this offline shit, and you're getting one of the best relievers in the game. So, kind of hard to complain about that just at the time. I think it was a little underwhelming for people. And then Mookie, nobody's really saying this is an L card, because if they did, they... Must have something in common with Helen Keller. Because if you look at these attributes here, they're stellar. Holy shit, this is getting this is getting a little crazy now with these rhymes. But yeah, Mookie Betts, great card, of course. Uh, a lot of people just considered to be an asinine amount of cards, which again, I would say um, not everybody needs to get it right away. And with TA4, there's a lot of cards coming that you're going to get this Mookie at least closer progression to getting this card. Um, so that kind of ties into the next point of how to invest and prepare for this. We have seen a, a flurry of TA4 reveals, some good, some bad, but consistent with all of them. Uh, they're pretty much all either award series or milestone or signature series. And then like one prime Duke Schneider. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the outlier, I suppose, but uh, a lot of awards, a lot of milestones. So what I would say, if you're going to invest, kind of think about like postseason cards, veteran cards, all-star cards. You know, we saw some new Battle Royale, low tier, you know, that silver, gold pack, whatnot. And then also the henchmen, uh, the classics, all those that we see in the sixth inning program, those new cards, invest in those, because uh, that's more so, in my opinion, what's going to go up, opposed to milestones, where you're going to get 10 of those for free so unless they really go above and beyond the call of duty here uh or the call of request for how many cards you're gonna need uh that would be my opinion that would be a decent way to go into but again if you're in my situation have 14 milestone cards you're not gonna get it you know maybe you'll get mookie just off these cards uh for ta4 but uh if you're looking at running gun at the card uh you know you're probably gonna need more than 14 going into it but it would kind of be contingent on who it's going to be, I suppose. Uh, who you think it's uh, going to be. In which case, let's talk about it. So, uh, in my eyes, the favorite, at least for a lot of people, is probably Hank Aaron. I forgot. My OBS stopped working. So, we'll go We'll go here. I'll just go over and look at the right side. Usually, I disappear for a sec. But anyway, Hank Aaron. Uh, good player. Hot, hot take there. Uh, a lot of people have been really wanting him. Brand new legend in the game. But I don't think he's going to be here in this collection. I just don't think they're going to put him behind a paywall. You know, we had Nicky Mantle, 
We had Willie Mays, two brand new legends, highly requested. They were essentially the biggest name in that respective year, um, more or less, and they were the Live Series collection. You could say, oh, isn't that putting them behind a paywall? Um, not to the same extent as like this collection right here. Uh, I guess it kind of is. <laughs> kind of. Uh, that's a bit hypocritical, but I don't think they're going to do it a third time. Uh, you know, it's going to stop after two. You know, if they were going to put Hank Aaron as that, I think they would have done it from the get-go and not had Chipper. Uh, I think he's probably going to be a boss program or he's going to be something in line of Clemente. Something that you're not going to have to, you know, spoon feed uh, second half heroes into. But Hank Aaron is going to be a great card. I give him diamond defense. He's going to have uh, up to max power, no doubt, once you parallel him up. Uh, good contact and, you know, 80 speed might be sugarcoating it, but... You know, it's supposed to have fun in video games, aren't we? Cody Bellinger. In a tweet I made a couple minutes ago, um, talking about how cool it would be to see a first half Heroes card. Because he had 30 home runs, had like a 1200 OBS in the first half. Wild. Still an MVP, uh, you know, debatable. You know, some people think that was Yelich's back-to-back. -back, but uh, one thing that's not debatable is, I uh, didn't think Bellinger's going to get a finest this year, so why not give him a card here? Which, this is actually his 2019 and lost his Classics finest from last year. Uh, MLB The Show 20, so I just copy and pasted those attributes, and good lord, it's really something. You know, 99 arm, 90 fielding, can play all outfield, including first base, if your outfield is already, you know, overloaded. Uh, good speed, really good power, nearly maxed out once you parallel that up. And then great contact alongside a great lefty swing. Um, one of my favorites in the game, uh, truth be told, love Bellinger cards. Uh, you know, I'm sitting on like a parallel 479 Bellinger now because uh, he decided to shit in the bed this year. Tatis, um, this one. Shout out to Pitching Rebel. He's the first one that I kind of saw mention this and it kind of made me think, I'm like, yeah, that does sound realistic. The same way how a lot of people were perplexed by the idea that we would get a Trout last year when the first big collection in 19 was Honus Wagner. And then we saw a live series card and people were like, oh my God, what is this? Uh, of course, Trout was a great card. And I think the same thing would be said for this Tatis. Both current players, both have large fan bases. You know, a lot of people, big fans of Tatis. Uh, and, uh, you know, a lot of people would love him in the game as well. So it gives reason to having so many necessary cards for this collection is what I'm trying to say. And the big thing with Tatis, uh, if they give him these outfield secondaries like he has on his live series card right now, uh, I know he, I think he played right field last night. I think he had an outfield assist. Pretty cool. Um, but we'll have to see. Because this would probably be like a 2020 Silver Slugger card, in which case they wouldn't. But who knows? If they make it a new card series, that'd be dope. Uh, but nearly maxed out speed. Uh, will be maxed out once parallel. 99 arm, 90 fielding. Um, and then righties maxed out. 125 out of the box and against lefties. Really good stuff as well. 104, 115. Uh, kind of took his POTM card from last year and, you know, amped it up a notch. So if we see something like this... I, I think this is warranted of, you know, spending some stops, I, I would say. I know we've seen a lot of great short stops like Honus, um, which is kind of like Trey Turner Plus. Um, we see Barry Larkin, Jimmy Rollins. Uh, a lot of short stops, actually, uh, that we've seen revealed for TA4. Um, Kershaw, as Gomer disappears there for a second. Um, if they were going to do a pitcher, Kershaw, maybe Kluber, like the only options at this point to make it worth it. Like, it's one thing to put out that Mo collection a pitcher in, what, May? Be another thing to do it in September. People be riding in the streets, wouldn't they? Uh, but the pitch mix, great. Five pitches. Now they're lefty with 120 plus hit per nine. Kind of like robbed Ray, huh? Maybe you could have gave him a sinker instead of a two-seamer, which somebody pointed out. He actually doesn't throw a two-seamer, but he has thrown a sinker. Like 0 0.03% like of the time. So sometimes he throws it more often than a two-seamer. Damn it, so fix it, SDS. Change it. Anyway, this would be a no-hitter Kershaw card that I molded, uh, molded from 2014. Uh, this would be ridiculous, of course. He's not going to have outlier, obviously. But he's still going to 
you know, put out a respectable, like 97, 98, if you ask nicely enough, maybe on the fourth scene. And uh, just great pitch mix, lefty, everybody loves this card. He was killer in 19, was still really good last year. And it would be cool to see him again. Then Ken Griffey Jr., uh, we'll talk about him. Because uh, I think he is definitely an option, uh, for sure. Another fan favorite. I do want to say uh, the Mariners, Team Affinity 4, has not been revealed. We have seen Honus, which is a really good card. You know, if you saw my video today, I wasn't sure if that was the big collection. Kind of weird if it was, but, you know, the card's so good, it doesn't seem like it would fit along uh, a 97 David Price. Does it, SDS? One seems a bit better than the other. We have also haven't seen the Yankees, so maybe we'll have a Mickey Mantle or a Babe Ruth. Who knows? But Griffey definitely could be TA4, but uh, I think he could also be the big collection. You know, 87 speed. I, I took his MVP or card from last year and made it better. But I'll be honest. If they just took that card from last year, I, not a hot take here. I don't think it'd be better than the Mookie. You know, it'd be like Mo, Mookie, Griffey. Like backtracking. Uh, probably not something you should do when you ask for more cards to be put into it. So uh, this Griffey would be far superior. Lefty Bat, of course, made it a milestone card, so it would actually be a Cincinnati Red. Uh, be kind of cool to see in the game, I suppose. Um, but yeah, 119, 124 against righties and still really good against lefties. And then, of course, has the, the fielding, the speed. All the intangibles to make him a really good card. So, uh, yeah, I, I think any of these five options would be quite substantial. And let me know in the comments section. Uh, if it were down to these five, you know, who would you guys want to see the most? Uh, we have three outfielders, a pitcher, and then a short... Well, Christ, Tatis is practically an outfielder in his own right now, huh? Uh, so, four outfielders, technically, if, if you want to look at it like that. Uh, and then Kershaw, the outlier, the anomaly... Um, but I, I think all five of those uh, are warranted. I think they're all possible. If I saw any of those five, I would be like, hmm, yeah, that sounds about right. I can definitely see that being the case. Uh, so we're going to have to see how that works out, how that pans out tomorrow once we actually have it revealed. Um, slide Gomer back over there on the left side. And uh, yeah, I think that's kind of kind of wrap up this video. Talked about everything as far as what I think it's going to be. It's coming out tomorrow. Push the button. Regular update time. And, oh, a devilish voice crack right there. On that note, have a, have a great rest of your day. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. And uh, forget that it happened.